Hello, I am Pete, and welcome back to Control. In the previous episode, we activated the, the machine and had a chat with a person, and we need to find more black rock. We are back here at our nearest control point. Uh, we have some ability points to spend, so let's get right on that. Our health is now maximally upgraded. That is really good. I think I'm going to continue trying to maximize the efficiency of this launch ability, um, because we make a lot of use of that. So we're going to buy that. And we then have three points left, so we can also buy that. So our launch just gets stronger and stronger. Uh, we do have enough ability points to get a little bit of extra strength on one of these. But I've, I think I'm inclined to save them up so that I've got enough to then buy this at the first available opportunity. Lovely. So we need to fast travel back to central maintenance. That will take us to the Black Rock area. I remember being there before. So before we head on to the uh, the main quest destination, I am just going to go via the janitor's office because when we first met the janitor, there was a suggestion that we might get a continual stream of side quests from there. Marshall knows something about Dylan. Is he here? Is he all right? Director Fate. HRAs first. They'll help save everyone, including Dylan, once I find him. Can you keep him safe? Like you do with me? Oh, yep. Yeah. Indeed, it does look like there's something on the board. What a mess. Clear the clog. Hold G to activate. I don't think he's talking to me. I think he's just wittering to himself. So, what do we have to do? Clear the clog. So, this isn't a timed mission. Um, let's have a look on the map and see where that's going to take us. Okay, I feel like we were down there before. Okay, I think we need to go back to the nearest fast travel location and then we can make our way to that area. Okay, so from here we can then fast travel on over to this little waypoint here near the NSC coolant pumps. That will do. And then I guess, yeah, through this little area. Let's see if the enemies have respawned. I think it was about here that the enemies spawned last time. But it looks like we're good. Oh, we've got friends. One hit, very nice. Definitely saw at least one other person spawn in here. Oh, more are coming. Let's just evade this chappy for a fella while we've recharged our throwy energy. That was a bit close. In hindsight, ill-advised. Well, that's fine. There's little health pickups to be had over on this side of the room. Oh, I hear talking. Okay, I think we're alone now. So... That's pipe works. Clearing the clog is on this side of the room, apparently. Let's try heading upstairs. Up there, maybe? Or maybe it's down there. Not sure. Hmm, so it looks like it's over in this corner of the room. Maybe there's a door here that we didn't spot last time. There is something here bit of correspondence. Clog complaint. That gross blockage down in the water systems is back. What the fuck is it? And where does it keep coming from? And why the hell does Artie keep yelling nonsense at it? He acts like it can understand him. Of course he acts like we can understand him too. Guess that's his brand of crazy. I'm going to try out a new drain cleaner. Extreme strength. Okay. 
I think there's going to be enemies in here. Hello again, Mr. Clog. You've really let yourself go. Is that Mr. Clog down there? Okay. So... Can I jump over here? Yes, that's safe. What have we got? Another collectible. Something about the procedure. Was that going to be a case files? Yes. No unique procedure required. Um, the object's true shape and appearance are unknown. Able to adopt the physical form of items in its immediate vicinity. Ah, kind of mimic type thing. But it might be a water cooler. Okay. Okay, I'm going to ignore the bureau alerts because I just die so quickly whenever I do them. And honestly, it's getting a little bit tiresome. Okay, I'm not being offered the opportunity to interact with anything. I am seeing those nodes, but I can't target them through this thing. And I'm not seeing a thing I can pick up and install onto those. Oh, okay, I can go over here. There we go. Right. Uh, well, there's a thing that I can pick up and install into there to open that door. Which allows me to get another thing out. This door's open. Okay, things are all falling into place now. Is there another one of those big bricks? No. I can't pick that up anymore. That one might have opened this door? No. What has this one done? Oh, I can take it off of there and pop it on there instead. Does that open a door for us? Not looking like it. Okay, in which case I think I need to take back the first one and bring that through to this room. So it's this one here. That's now closed that door. So I need to bring it over the top. Don't fall down. I need you. And now we can activate the draining pump. Where's the draining pump? It's probably just one of these things needs touching. Is this touchable? Is this... Oh, that, that up there is touchable. Okay. This also looked a little bit touchable as well. Not quite touchable enough. This is the touchablest. And then we go to the lower level and push back the claw. The this door is open. That's got to be relevant. Yeah, this is taking us down to the lower level. It's too quiet at the moment. Right. This thing doesn't really fight back. Is that it? I sincerely hope we never meet again. That was the mission complete. That was quite trivial. There wasn't much resistance, was there? Alright, I've picked up some stuff. Let's just check my loadout, see if either of these mods are superseded. No, it, it feels a bit unbalanced how the two best personal mods I have are both health boosts. I'm kind of looking forward to some, some better stuff. I'd also quite like to replace this level 1 mod with a, a better damage booster, but I have what I have. And yeah, I've got no level 3 weapon mods at the moment. So I, th I think the loadout I've got there is pretty much as good as it's going to get. Alright, we're going now going to backtrack. We're still not going to go and do that bureau alert. We're going to just focus on the main story. So let's find our nearest fast travel point. Now, can I take that lift out of here? Looks promising. Oh, hold on. No. There is someone there. Does that happen every time I summon the lift? I'm loving this one hit kill from the launch. Hello. I hear you. Lift's ready. Goodbye coolant pumps. I imagine I'll probably never come back here again. 
All right, here we are. We've made it back to a fast travel point. Uh, we do have now some ability points, so I think we can upgrade our launch yet again, get some more damage on that. Really nice, really nice. I'm going for the kind of the approach of focusing on specific abilities, the ones I use the most, getting them really, really strong, and then diversifying instead of trying to spread myself too thinly. Right, so we want to go to central maintenance, and as I say, I think the NSC control room is really close to there, so that's where we're going to go. And if memory serves, this corridor here is the one. Let's check the map. Could be... Or I could be wrong. No, this isn't where I want to be. One thing I'm finding quite interesting about this game is, even though it gives you a map, the map is kind of of limited use. And so you do still need to learn the layout of the place. Because right now, I'm quite stumped on how to get to central maintenance. I thought it was down that corridor. But it's clearly not. Uh, let's try back through here. Maybe this corridor, maybe this elevator is useful. Black Rock Quarry. I feel like that is probably where I want to be. Let's try there. I mean, I feel like Black Rock Quarry and Black Rock Processing might be different things, but it's worth a go, isn't it? Okay, well, I can't get through here anyway. Um, that's clearance level five. It'll go weep, weep, wop. So let's try down here. That is also clearance level five. Um, yeah, okay, we're in the wrong place. Let's head back down. Let's go to the NSC power plant level and hope that that's the right direction. It's dark out here. I've definitely been here before. Let's try looking out for some signs towards central maintenance, you know? This is NSC energy converters. Surprised there's no enemies spawning in around here. I feel like I've had to fight enemies around here a couple of times. Right, central maintenance. Th this is the way. It's all about the signs. Here we go. Oh, ghost door. Uh, okay. Yeah, I remember being here before. Black rock processing. We got it. Now, we're entering a new area. We're going to see enemies pretty soon. There's some. Uh, oh, I see one of them things. I can't quite target it yet. I mean, the thing is, if I'm one-hit killing things, then I don't need to worry about the what's it that causes health to regen. But if a tougher enemy comes along in a second, then I wish I'd killed that thing. Hello, you. That's not so good. Shoot him through the bars. Yes, I'm aware there's someone else up there. Let's deal with him. Right, that's him dealt with. Oh, they keep coming. I don't get a second to scratch my nose. Come on, shotgun. I'm going to stay up in this corner because I seem to be doing a pretty good job of defending it. All right, I think that that little wave of enemies is over. This is just a little side office we can check out. I see a pickable mod, pick mod out there. I'm just checking around here. No, nothing in there. So I think it was through here. A mod on the floor somewhere. Maybe I've already got it. Okay, things are going so well. Right, we've got a clearance level four door. That's surely got to be of interest. We have a side room here with a couple of items. What have we here? A collectible. Let's check that out. A bit of correspondence. Tennyson report warning. Listen, trenches on the warpath about this Tennyson report thing. He wants to know who wrote it, etc. Uh, 
yeah, not really much to say in there. I do notice we've got something new in our loadout, a new personal mod. It's going to be a good one. No, it's just a level 2 shield boost. I don't really use shield much. The thing about the shield uh, skill is that when I've used it, I found it a little bit disappointed. Uh, disappointed? Disappointing. Because it slows you down so much. And I don't really like that amount of compromise of my maneuverability. Another thing I'm doing this episode is making more use of the mouse shortcuts. So middle mouse button to pick up things. And also that little thumb button can be used for the dash. I think I'm more likely to use that if it's on a mouse button rather than the control key on the keyboard. Hello. So if I take that down, that's going to turn off those things. Um, which allows me to get across there. Oh, but now I want to activate that thing. Um, and they're now too far away. I wonder if I wanted to carry one of those blocks over. Maybe I can pick it up from here. Oh, no. Well, let's try picking that one up. Jumping with it. And then putting it in. Uh, I was wondering if that would start something interesting up. It hasn't done so. Or maybe it started those up. Maybe they weren't running before. Okay, just some featureless grey corridors now. But we are now up high. If I take that off... Okay, we've got another space there that wants one. But I don't have anything going at the moment. So maybe I want to backtrack downstairs and pick up another one of those. Maybe that one. You, come with me. I'm not entirely sure what that switch did that I just took this one off of, but we seem to be doing okay. I do wonder if maybe I actually want to have all of these things going. Hello. Hello. Notice. Ocean View Motel and Casino Entry Point. Light switch, the law of three applies. Oh, yeah, I remember that from last time. Okay, before I pull that light switch three times, I'm just going to check around here. Just because side corridors sometimes have a big drop down. That's okay. That's our Skyrim door. That will drop us back to the start of this area when we are ready to leave. Mmm, nice. I mean, consulting the map. I'm not really that close to where I'm supposed to be, I think. But, uh, no, this, this feels useful. One. Two. And three. I must traverse the Ocean View Motel. Uh, this door will be locked at the moment. Yeah. None of these doors are opening for me. Doorbell three times. Always the rule of three. And let's check what side rooms we've got here. Okay, this has some interactables. Painting. Interesting. Rule of three. Rule of three. I don't want to interact with that painting quite yet. In fact, yeah, no, I think I do. I think everything else has been interacted with. One two, three. Oh, another thing. One, two, three. So I wonder if now I can get into that room at the end. I can't. How curious. Okay. Maybe I'm doing things wrong. Alright, so that door has closed when I hit that bell again. So I think hitting the bell three times to open that room was correct. Okay, I just heard... Oh, I just heard that one close. And this one open. Oh, I wonder if that noise of unlocking was this? No. Okay, well, we've got the correct room open. 
We just need to rule of three it. I'm going to do three taps on everything again. Which has now put everything back into its original location. So that doesn't feel like that's the right direction to be going in. What am I missing here? I feel like I might be ready for a hint. Okay. Rule of three was not the answer here. What we need to do is we need to observe that the rooms are very similar. The plant on the table is on the left here, painting straight, radio on the right, chair out. And we just need to replicate that in here. So we've got the straight painting, we've got that on the right, we've got that on the left. So just pulling this chair out gives us a sinister sound, and that's the puzzle complete. Next time I'll try and use my brain before jumping straight to a walk. Hang on, what? Oh, hold on. That's opened another room, uh, which has one item in it. A key. That's probably what we need. We're in. Okay, now we rule of three it with the light switch. Right. Mission updated. Continue towards Blackrock processing. Okay, so now... Yeah, now we can head back through this little drop to... Okay, interesting. We're heading into areas we haven't been to before. Ouch. A little bit. Thankfully, things out here. So we now need to go to maintenance slash atlas chamber. Hmm. No, continue towards black rock processing. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure that that is where I want to be. Turbine room. Can't go back up there. Oh, fudge. That was a surprise. One which I feel I dealt with pretty adeptly. The music is still going, which suggests there's going to be more of them. Okay, downstairs just had that thing. Weapon mod, shatter recoil efficiency. Okay, I think I might now be going round in pointless circles. I think I'm just heading back to where I just was. And I don't need to be there. This access corridor that I'm in, there's a suggestion. There's a suggestion that we want to be over there. No. Over here. That corridor there. That looks interesting. How do I get to that? Oh, and there's a oh, there's corridors everywhere. Maybe that's just what happens in this area. Okay, there's got to be another way somewhere that I've overlooked here. Oh, down here maybe. Yes, Atlas Chamber. Oh, hello. Keep a lookout for surprise enemies. I saw someone through there. Oh, I shouldn't have been so close to that. I do have to be more careful about throwing explosives in my own face. It's not good for one's health. Okay, let's pick up all the healths we've got around here. Okay, let's go to Atlas Chamber. A wood door. And another door. It feels really dangerous to be walking into this. Here's a corridor. Cool. I'm going to end this episode here on this lovely corridor in the middle of nowhere. Hope you'll join me for the next episode of Control. Bye-bye.